How's everybody doing? It's Technic Gamer, and I'm bringing you a Minecraft tutorial on redstone clocks. And by redstone clocks, I do not mean these bad guys. These are these clocks are meant to tell you the time of day, while these clocks that I have set up here set send a uh, pulse at a certain amount of ticks in the game. And I'll explain ticks in a second. But clocks basically use are made by redstone torch powering itself which is in fact impossible to do in the real world or else we'd have theoretically unlimited amounts of energy because a light bulb could power a light bulb but that would be nice though but redstone clocks are impossible and to make in the real world but they are very possible in minecraft and there's lots of different types of clocks and the f the lower the number of the name of the clock like this is a one clock the faster it is. So the higher the number, the slower it is. Now most clocks, the number tells you how many ticks it takes for the pulse to change. Well, not change, but how many ticks it takes for a pulse to come through the wire. And the lower the tick, any uh, clock below a five clock is really unreliable and will burn out. And what I mean is, right here, this is a one clock and it's the fastest clock possible, but it's really unreliable and soon after you turn it on it'll um, shut itself off essentially and this is what I mean now that didn't that's not supposed to happen it's supposed to keep going forever essentially is the use of a clock and if you leave it on eventually it'll turn itself back on just to burn itself out again which might happen it, it's a different time every time it burns itself out because uh, and torch burning is random too it can go for s a long time if you're lucky or just bust out right away and that's how long it took to turn back on and off so I'm just gonna turn that one off uh, this is a two clock it takes twice as long and uh, it's not twice as reliable though it burns out pretty quick and uh, it, se it seems like uh, the higher the tick the faster it comes on after being burnt out but maybe not maybe it's just me and uh, I'll give you an example of this one and it burnt out and we'll see how long it takes for it to turn itself by back on as you can see it's quite a while just like the one clock and um, the reason these burn out so quick well they don't exactly when I say burn out I don't mean redstone is breaking back there or like fissuring it's basically a torch powers itself too fast that it causes it not really to glitch out but just shut off for a while till it can eventually turn itself back on and this clock is taking forever to turn itself back on so I'll just shut it off I guess maybe it needs to be restarted yeah as you can see one and two clocks are not very fast but the first reliable clock is a five clock and this is how fast it is and it can last for a very long time without burning out and I'll just shut it off now this is a 15 clock that is three times as slow but the thing is you can make any tick clock you could make a three a four a six all the way up to 15 just depending on how much access do you have to repeaters and how much room you have to spare and I'll show you what a 15 clock is that's how long this is now this is a five minute clock does not use it doesn't essentially use redstone torches it's not made by using redstone torches to power itself but rather takes advantage of the despawn time of a dropped item and water streams and dispensers now if I flip this switch it'll go down and then in five minutes pop up and go back down and then five minutes pop up and go back down now I'll just give you an example and five minutes from now that bad boy will pop back up and then down and then five minutes up and down but I'll just shut it off because no one wants to sit here for five minutes now since I'm so nice I'm gonna come over here and show you how to construct each type of clock and give you a basic knowledge of how they work so you can customize them to your needs